guys welcome back to my channel um what are we doing today well we're doing a product review i guess um yeah i guess that's what you can call it product review um this is gonna be two products in one video surprise surprise um they're kind of uh similar one in the same along the same lines part of the same company that kind of thing um we are going to be talking about the kat von d cake pencil and the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So um, I received the Cake Pencil and Tattoo Liner uh, complimentary from Influencer, and uh, in return they want a review. So the good news about this is that Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner has been a favorite of mine for about now two years. Um, this is the Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It's waterproof liquid eyeliner. So here's the packaging for the Tattoo Liner. Um, here's what the pencil looks like it's not really a pencil it's more of a pen it is a brush tip applicator and it is super black provides a really nice clean cut for a wing liner it's it can be very precise um just you know just to get right into the lash line um, i really do love this um i already had one of these in my collection that i was using and when influencer sent me another one I was so ecstatic about it. Like, I was so happy. It is my favorite liquid pencil liner. I feel like I cannot go anywhere without this. I bring this with me when I travel, at home, when I'm away for the weekends. This is my ride or die liquid um, liner. I haven't even used a potted liner in months because I love this so much. And I really do enjoy potted liners too, but this is just so convenient. You don't need another brush with it. You just need this. The brush tip is really convenient. It doesn't dry out. Um, the tip doesn't dry out until you have used up all of the product. So that's what I like about it a lot. So, you know, Trooper, Tattoo Liner in Trooper by far is my favorite. It's long wearing, it's waterproof, it does a great cat, um, cat wings. So I really do love this particular, uh, liner in particular. Now going into the, uh, Kat Von D Cake Pencil. I'm actually wearing the Cake Pencil today. Um, I find that this is a really easy, no muss, no fuss, uh, simple liner pencil that um, it works well on the lid, in the waterline, you know, doesn't budge. So this is what it looks like. It's a, it's a twist up pencil, so you don't have to sharpen it, which is amazing. The formulation on this is so buttery. Like, I'm barely going to touch my skin, you guys, and look how black that is. Yeah, very black. Um, it sets down, it doesn't budge, it doesn't move, it's very pigmented, it's waterproof. My main concern with this was that it would be waterproof and that it actually shows up in my waterline. And as you can tell, it is super black in the waterline and that's what I love about it the most because a lot of mechanical pencils don't necessarily show up in the waterline and when you really want that deepness in the waterline, you can't always get it, but this one you can get it with, so I'm really impressed with that. Um, so just so you know, I, I live in Canada. The, the cake pencil goes for $24. The uh, tattoo liner goes for $25. I think that they're worth it. The only downfall is that um, the tattoo liner, you only get 0 0.019 fluid ounces, which is 0.55 milliliters. But with... Um, with the cake pencil, you only get 0 0.011 ounces, which is 0 0.03 grams. This is in grams because it is a solid, whereas this is a liquid, and that's why. Anyways, um, so the, point zero, the point, uh, point 0 0.3 grams is a little bit less than what I'm used to in a uh, pencil in a pencil form only because a lot of like uh makeup brands like urban decay makeup forever their their weight on their pencils like their mechanical pencils run between 0 0.5 grams to 1.3 or 1.4 grams so you get a little more product at the same price um so yeah the the amount of product provided is not my favorite i wish they would add a little bit more to this um it is vegan and it is obviously safe for the eyes um I do really love this. Uh, I just don't know if I would repurchase on a regular basis when I run out because I've run out of this quite fast when I'm using it every day. Um, I would repurchase it as a luxury product, but for the amount of product you get, it just, I, I could run out of this quite fast. That's just me. Anyways, um, 
I still love the I still love the product, don't get me wrong. I just am a little bit disappointed with Kat Von D and how she only provided 0.3 grams when a lot of the um, competitors are around 0.5 grams or 1.3 grams. I wish she would have stayed in that range because I feel like we're getting jipped for the amount of money we're paying for it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Let me know down below how you feel. Um, nonetheless, it's still a good product. I still like it, and I still would prefer this over my some of my other pencil mechanical liners that I do have. Um, I can't stop using it, guys. Like I've been uh, using these two now nonstop. I've been using the Trooper Tattoo Trooper liner for the last two years, um, and the cake I've been I've been using as well in conjunction with the tattoo liner since Influencer sent it to me. So um, I'm really really impressed with it. I have to say the price is a little steep for the amount you get, but I can. I could kind of, you know, not, I guess I could kind of accept it because the product is so good, but I don't know if I would repurchase it very religiously. I would repurchase it maybe down the road, you know, down the long road. So nonetheless, it's still a great product. Um, if you had to choose one or the other, depends on what your preferences are. If you don't like doing a cat, uh, a cat wing, that often then I would say go with the cake liner because it is a mechanical pencil. You don't have to sharpen it. It's very pigmented. You can get your typical eyeliner in and your lower lash line as well like your waterline if you prefer a more cat wing look that you do more cat wings with your eyeliner then i would say go with uh, tattoo liner and trooper um if you can get both then get both but if you can only choose one it'll depend on what your preference is whether you're more of a cat wing person or you're just more of a typical regular eyeliner girl or boy um but yeah, so they are great. Love them both. It's just your your now your personal preference, really, if you're going to try them. Um, and uh, I would say that I would consider these two over other brands when it comes to longevity, pigmentation, um, waterproof, no smudging, that kind of thing. So these are a definite thumbs up. Uh, let me know down below if you've tried these, what you think of them. Uh, and uh, I think that's it for this video. So if you haven't already um, joined my or entered my giveaway, please do so. I will link it in the cards below. And uh, we're heading, we're, you know, we're heading into April now. So I hope the weather is getting better wherever you are. If you are in a colder climate like I am in Canada. And uh, I wish you guys all the best. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mwah.